the way to Chatty. I've got a couple of errands to do and we might have lunch at Lanso Beef Noodles. But anyway, we do have a life update. We are getting kicked out of our current apartment. Our landlord is selling our property. So we're gonna do some apartment hunting and some inspections, but obviously quite devastated because we love our current place. We love our area. Came out of nowhere, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. actually such a beautiful hamper for my best friend Nancy. There's an aroma diffuser. This is a luxury bath salt blend. Milk chocolate, raspberry bites, caramel latte shortbread. Oh my god, that actually sounds delicious. I think I'm gonna have this one tonight. <laughs> Orange and spice tea blends. Peanut butter nuggets. He's definitely gonna enjoy that. A soy candle. This was such a beautiful surprise. Nancy, if you're watching, thank you so much. The first apartment that we toured was $380 per week for two bedrooms, one bath, and one car spot. We just felt that the apartment didn't have enough privacy. It was directly opposite a train station and we felt on the balcony and in the front yard, it felt like people could look right in the apartment. The second apartment was $350 a week for one bedroom, one bath, and one car spot. It was okay, it was just a bit small and we were worried about whether we could actually fit everything we owned and it had a lot of carpet and we prefer uh, like wooden floorboards. The third apartment was $500 a week for two bedrooms and two bathrooms. It was pretty spacious and we definitely liked the flooring and how modern everything was, but it was on a ground floor and the road in front was pretty busy and I was just a little bit worried about the noise. The fourth apartment that we toured was $450 a week for one bedroom and one bath. Because we wouldn't have a second bedroom for my study, it was actually just way too small because there would be no space for me to put my desk. And I work from home so frequently that unfortunately this apartment was just going to be too small. Hi 
everyone, it's Sunday morning and I just FaceTimed with my friend Ishita. She lives in San Francisco and she works for a law firm over there. So it was really, really nice to just catch up with her and her crazy, crazy work life. I also wrapped all the presents for my manager. He's going away, so I coordinated the present contributions and did the shopping yesterday and since the sales were so good yesterday, I also picked up a couple of things for myself, including this tea towel set, and it's so cute. Ki and I are just about to head off. We're gonna play badminton with our friends Aaron and Runa. I've never played badminton with them before, so this will be really fun. This is what they look like out of the box. I think I'm gonna pop them in the wash before I use them because they've got a bit of a funky smell to them. got home from a big day in the city I started my day off by getting some lash extensions and I don't usually get my lashes done but with my Singapore trip coming up I kind of wanted to treat myself a little I tried out a new place called Beauty Fairy in the CBD and I was really happy with it I feel like they turned out really naturally, which is what I asked for. After I got my lashes done, I had lunch with my friends Peggy and Jennifer. I feel like the YouTube fan knows Jennifer by now. I filmed a video with her, which I will link in the cards if you're interested in watching. We were actually thinking of filming another video together and we were thinking of doing something like a Q&A. So I think that'll be really fun and of course I will keep you guys posted. And then afterwards I grabbed coffee and cake with a friend of mine. Her name is Natasha and we went to Tori's. It's like this Japanese cafe and it was styled really cute and different. It felt like we were on the set of friends, like very different couches and yeah, the vibe was really nice. It was very different. And I had their matcha latte and I tried out the lychee cheesecake and both were freaking delicious. I would definitely go back. But anyway, it was very exciting for me because two subscribers, Karen and Justin, came over and said hi to me. And that rarely happens to me. So it was really, really exciting. And I was really, really shy, but it made my day. So if you guys are watching, thank you so much. So the last thing I did in the city was to pick up my new New camera which is very exciting I ordered it around one and a half months ago but it was so delayed because it turned out that there was no stock in Australia I think that they would tell me when I was placing the order but nope so I had to keep following up with customer service it's been a whole thing and even today when I was picking it up it turned out there was like one piece which is the grip like mini tripod that's still not available to pick up. I don't think there's anything really wrong with my current camera. I currently have the Canon G7X, but it's the Mark 1. And I feel like the audio quality, especially when 
I'm going out and about. It's quite terrible. With my new camera, there's an actual audio jack so you can plug in the external mic. So I just wanted to kind of improve my audio quality. And I think I will definitely still be using two of my cameras and you know, get different angles, but I'm very excited to get used to my new little gadget. And I'd be really interested to know if you guys can tell in future videos if there's a difference in quality. I mean, I hope so because, you know, I spent that money. But anyway, I am pretty tired as you can probably tell from my cheeks. Probably gonna have a very chill night tonight. I have a bit of a headache coming on. So yeah, gonna keep it chill and rest a little.